Social media influencer Rosie Laratio Adams II was sentenced on Monday to 14 years in prison. You may recognize him because we've talked about him in my video, the top 10 influencers who went to jail. So what did he do to deserve 14 years in prison? Buckle up, this one's a doozy. What is Gucci gang? Welcome back to IO. I'm Charla Dore. On this channel, we keep you up to date with all the stupid things influencers do. We also do the news, but there's no news right now, except for the Donald being slapped with two articles of impeachment. Two more articles of impeachment. But if you're a fan of this channel, you know that we don't talk about the Donald. He's kind of like Voldemort. Mentioning his name brings nothing but anguish. So let's talk about this influencer who got slapped with a 14 year prison sentence for a crime you won't believe. Subscribe for Ultimate Cure for Boredom and follow the IO team on Instagram. Alright, so do you guys know what State Snaps is? It's a social media company and website that was founded in 2015. It featured photos and videos of young adults engaged in crude behavior, drunkenness, and nudity. Kind of reminds me of drunk people doing things. That Instagram account? Good account. Millions of people followed State Snaps on its social media accounts on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. State Snaps had over 1.5 million followers on its Instagram alone. It also had this slogan, do it for state. It was what Polo would say to urge his followers to do crazy shit for the gram. It's like you're drunk at a party and someone says, you should jump in the pool naked, man. And you're like, nah. And they're like, do it for state. And then you jump in the pool and everybody videos you doing it and then puts it on social media. Followers of State Snaps would use this slogan as a hashtag. And if you go on Instagram, there are about 169,000 posts that have used that hashtag, do it for state. Essentially what I'm trying to say is this social media company was a big deal. Well, the guy who started it, Rosie Laratio Adams II, who also goes by the name Polo, started the company in 2015 while he was a student at Iowa State University. Because it was so popular, he wanted to buy the domain name, doitforstate.com, so he could expand his company. Problem is, somebody already owned doitforstate.com and registered it to godaddy.com. That person was Ethan Deo. Over the course of two years, Adam tried to get Deo to sell the domain to him multiple times. Every time, Deo refused. But at one point, he did offer to sell it for 20 grand, a price that was way too high for Adams. Honestly, I feel like Adams just kind of like screwed himself over by like wanting the domain so much, then all of a sudden this guy's like, oh, like that's worth something to you. So obviously I'm gonna overcharge you for it. <laughs> Most people would have given up at that point, or maybe just like think of a plan B, but instead Adams chose a different route. He started intimidating Deo and his friends through text. He at one point sent a gun emoji to one of Deo's friends. He also showed up to Deo's door. Then in June of 2017, Adams hired his cousin, convicted felon Sherman Hopkins Jr., and drove him to Deo's home. Hopkins broke in with a stolen gun, taser, and cell phone, and was wearing pantyhose on his head and dark sunglasses. In his possession, he also had a note from Adams with instructions on how to transfer the domain. Can't make this shit up, guys. I never thought I would see the day when there was a news story about a violent plot to steal a domain name. A domain name! <laughs> Hopkins took it upon himself to hold the gun to the head of the domain owner and he pistol whipped him several times. But then like the tables turned in some like weird Hollywood movie-esque way and the domain owner was able to get control of the gun. When they were struggling, he was shot in the leg before he shot Hopkins several times in the chest and then called the police. Hopkins is still alive, he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 20 years in prison. But he wouldn't have even been there in the first place if it weren't for Adams. Adams was convicted in a jury trial last April of conspiracy to interfere with commerce by force, threats, and violence. He was just sentenced this past Monday to 14 years in prison for a plot to steal a domain name. <laughs> Social media is just killing us guys, like it's killing us, we're turning against each other, we're hiring our felon cousins to go and kill people and intimidate people because we want domain names, like what the hell's going on? Next up on IO, influencer holds person hostage because she wants her handle. <laughs> just think of a different handle. Alright, tell me your thoughts on this one down there in the comments, I'm sure you have a lot of them. For now, I'm going to wrap up this one with some common features. I am actually curious to see what you guys think of Abby, so uh, let's react to some comments from her latest video, the top 10 times Trisha Paytas lied and got exposed. Even better said Abby, I must admit I was kind of unhappy when I saw Io having a new host, but the more I see you, the more I like you. Keep the good work coming, sweetheart, you are really doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Abby is great and so cute. She knows a lot about YouTube and we wouldn't put someone on the channel that we didn't believe in, because we know you guys are going to call her out if she doesn't know her crap. Holly Clark said, side note, I love Abby. She's so cute and fun. Thanks, Io. You're welcome. Sal Goodman said, oh my gosh, I like you as a host, but dude, stop with the hands already. I'm getting motion sickness over here. How about I tie Abby's hands behind her back when I let her out of her basement cage? 
Would that make you happy? So good, man. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to IO so I get to see you next time and uh, enjoy some bonus content. Hopkins took it upon himself to hold the gun. Hopkins took it upon himself to hold the gun to the head of the domain owner and the. I'm just gonna go home. Yeah, I'm sad. Is that a dog in here? Hopkins took it upon himself to hold a gun to the head of the domain. Uh, domain, 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 domain. Mm. Yes, the teeth. Oh.